Margaret Knight was born in York, Maine on February 14, 1838. Margaret and her brothers Charlie and Jim were raised by her widowed mother in Manchester, New Hampshire. Always interested in building and inventing things, she turned her attention to the machines in the textile mills. Before she was even a teenager, her first invention was put to use in the mills. Margaret took a job at the Columbia Paper Bag Company in Springfield, Massachusetts following the Civil War. It was here that she invented a machine to fold and glue paper to form flat-bottom bags. She studied the machines at the factory during the day and made drawings and models at night in the boarding house where she lived. Margaret received patent number 116,842 on July 11, 1871, only after defending her work against a man who had spied on her model and been granted a patent for an identical machine. She paid $100 a day plus expenses for 16 days of deposition of herself and key witnesses. The paper bag machine has changed in style throughout the years, but Margaret's invention still impacts us all. Today, in excess of 7,000 machines throughout the world produce flat bottom paper bags at a rate of 200 to 650 sacks per minute. Those bags are now known as stand on shelf or self opening sacks. End users of stand on shelf bags include grocery and department stores, fast food restaurants, and bakeries. They are also found in lunchrooms on store shelves for consumer products, coffee, pet food, and charcoal and at home for composting and yard waste. Before passing away in 1914 at her home in Framingham, Massachusetts, Margaret Knight acquired as many as 26 patents in diverse industries. She also co-founded Eastern Paper Bag Company in Hartford, Connecticut. Margaret Knight was one of the first women to hold a patent. Today, her contributions and accomplishments are read by children in Emily Arnold McCauley's book, Marvelous Maddie, How Margaret E. Knight Became an Inventor.